in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. You are listening to Daily Bread Devotions with Father Eustace Yame, a selection of Don Bosco. Your word, Lord, is a lamp for my steps. Stay tuned. It is Wednesday, the 23rd of October, 2024, 29th week in ordinary time. And participating in the proclamation of the Word of God for today are the following Daily Bread members. Justina Mulengabesa from Lusaka, Zambia, celebrating her birthday tomorrow, takes for us the first reading. Gloria Kinzeka from Dallas, Texas, United States of America, celebrating her birthday tomorrow, takes for us the responsorial psalm. And proclaiming the gospel is Father Anthony Ayuk who celebrates his priestly anniversary on the 29th of this month, a Capuchin missionary working in Kampala Archdiocese in Uganda. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The mystery of Christ has now been revealed. How the Gentiles are fellow heirs of the promise. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 3, verses 2 to 12. Brethren, I assume that you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for you, how the mystery was made known to me by revelation, as I have written briefly. When you read this, you can perceive my insight into the mystery of Christ, which was not made known to the sons of men in other generations, as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. That is how the Gentiles are fellow heirs, members of the same body, and partakers of the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. Of this gospel, I was made a minister according to the gift of God's grace, which was given me by the working of his power. To me, though I am the very least of all the saints, this grace was given to preach to the Gentiles and the unsearchable riches of Christ and to make all men see what is the plan of the mystery hidden for ages in God who created all things that through the church the manifold wisdom of God might now be made known to the principalities and powers in the heavenly places. This was according to the eternal purpose which he has realized in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have boldness and confidence of access through our faith in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sponsorial Psalm, Isaiah 12, 2-3, 4B, C, D, E, 5-6. Response is taken from Isaiah 12, verse 3. And the response is, With joy you will draw water from the walls of the Savior. With joy you will draw water from the walls of the Savior, with joy you will draw water from the wells of the Savior. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song. 
and he has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the walls of salvation. With joy you will draw water from the walls of the Savior. With joy you will draw water from the wells of the Savior. Give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the nations. Proclaim that his name is exalted. With joy you will draw water from the wells of the Savior. With joy you will draw water from the wells of the Savior. Sing praises to the Lord, for he has done gloriously. Let this be known in all the earth. Shout and sing for joy, O inhabitants of Sion. For great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. With joy you will draw water from the wells of the Savior. With joy you will draw water from the wells of the Savior. Gospel Acclamation Matthew 24 42a 44 Watch therefore and be ready. The Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Everyone to whom much is given of him will much be required. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Luke chapter 12, verses from 39 to 48. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Know this, that if the householder had known at what hour the thief was coming, he would have been awake and would not have left his house to be broken into. You also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Peter said, Lord, are you telling this parable for us or for all? And the Lord said, Who then is a faithful and wise steward whom his master will set over his household to give them their proper portion of food at the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom his master, when he comes, will find so doing. Truly, I tell you, he will set him over all his possessions. But if that servant says to himself, My master is delayed in coming, and begins to beat the men servants and the maid servants, and to eat and drink and get drunk, the master of that servant will come on a day when he does not expect him and at an hour he does not know and will punish him and put him with the unfaithful. And that servant who knew his master's will but did not make, make ready or act according to his will shall receive 
a severe beating. But he who did not know and did what deserved a beating shall receive a light beating. Everyone to whom much is given, of him will much be required. And of him to whom men commit much, they will demand the more. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. After Jesus had given the story of the rich fool who had worked so hard and had achieved a lot and now he just wanted to sit and relax and enjoy what he worked for so hard and then a voice came from above and said, Tonight! Your soul will be demanded of you. That left the disciples perplexed. They said, wait a minute. Is this how we are going to end our lives? That after working so hard, you just end up dying like that? Is this the message Jesus wants to give us? Are we going to end up like this? It was a very disturbing message. But Jesus just wanted to let the disciples live a life of preparedness. It is not like he was telling them to live a worried life. No, to live a life of preparedness. To always live as if our end is coming tomorrow, but to work as if we will never die. Work as if you will never die. And so Jesus continues to now expand on that passage. Know that if the master of the house had known at what hour the thief was coming, he would not have left this house to be broken into. You also must be ready for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Yes, this is a very realistic message. We must be ready. Because we don't know when our end will come. It will come tomorrow. It will come day after tomorrow. It will come even today. But we should live our lives in such a way that when our end comes, we are not going to leave anyone worried or concerned as to how tomorrow will be. We will have prepared everything. I like people who even work on their wills, even when they're very healthy. You don't have to work on your will when you see some signs of death. People die in accidents. People die of heart attack, especially in our time. So many people are just falling down and their lives are ending abruptly like that. Now, it's not unrealistic to talk about these things. We are just saying, let us live our lives prepared all the time. And living our lives prepared does not mean we should fold our hands and say, since my end will come any time, so I should stop doing what I'm doing. No. Jesus goes on to answering Peter who asks, are you telling this parable for us or for all? Who then is the faithful and wise manager whom his master will set over his household to give them their portion of food at the proper time? Blessed that servant whom his master will find so doing when he comes. The Lord should find us doing good. The Lord should find us at work. How nice it is for us to collapse while we are doing something good. How nice it is for us to find our end while we are helping humanity. Not while we are receiving money for corruption. Not while we are doing something evil somewhere, but while we are doing good for humanity. That should be the way we live our lives and every day should be taken as our end. And so I live as if this is my last day and I work as if I will never die. That's how development will come in our world today. That is how transformation will come in our world. Christians can bring that transformation. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit.
night. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed Wednesday to you. Thanks be to God.